Welcome back to Friends of Mineral Town. Thankfully, unlike summer, spring and autumn both only have regular rainy days. You're not going to have to worry about storms. But they will come back in winter. Ah, the old winter typhoon. How nice. Yep. Oof. Oh, the, uh, guys. Mine's all, all holding up here. This is what a lot of autumn looks like. Just whole lines of crops ready to go. And we've got the golden axe, so we can finally get rid of these bigger, older stumps. Outstanding. Yay. Oh, Sunny and Aqua have just way too much work to do. Jeez. What's the turnaround on yams? I don't know, it's like every few days. Unreal. Apparently. I probably talked to him the most when he showed up. Uh, I, no, it's, it's, it's grapes. It's I, grapes. I will pay you to never say that again. It's, uh, it's not, it's not, I assure you it's not poopy. Well, it sounds like she's expecting a shitty birthday. Uh, yeah. And she's gonna make sure everyone knows about it. Raw flour, thank God. Um, well, your husband's awful. But I'm just a farmer. <laughs> well, um, happy birthday. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> Boomers really are the progenitor of the question. Are the straights okay? <laughs> I was gonna say, I'm like, if it's on Twitter, they would just be nothing but are the, you know, the straights are at it again memes. <laughs> mm. And as a straight, let me tell you, we are always at it. <laughs> always. <laughs> Popery looks so upset. Why are we here? Why is this church here? Why is this big, expen- Cursed tool? Cursed tool. That's the winter thing I was talking about. You mean like Mana's husband? <laughs> <laughs> Got him! Zing. Okay, so unequipped cursed tool. Divorce. We could buy some stuff for our pets that we can't get for a while. Oh, for a little baby. We can throw the ball and then look at it sadly. That's cool that you're pre-buying pet toys just to look at them. Like, someday. Someday there shall be a baby. The ball you use on the farm with the pets and the disc you use on the beach. The beach is a mini game. The pet festival that we didn't get to see is basically a full size version of the disc mini game, like how the horse race is like a mini game version of just riding the horse. Is it getting warm in here all of a sudden? Whew. Big the yummies. Mm. Warm and sweaty. Yeah. That's how you know it's done. <laughs> Go the other way with man. Feeling pretty good all of a sudden. Whoa, <laughs> dude. Sell P goes both ways. Make butter. It's amazing. After making all this pudding, what if there was a pudding that was made of milk and salt? <laughs> <laughs> ah, French toast. A perennial Skippy favorite. Mmm. Butter is funny because 
you can make it in the kitchen, but there's also a maker for it that goes in the barn. And they're they're the exact same item. It's not like strawberry milk, where there are two separate things. It's the same thing. Now, I'm trying to butter up Carter, because we briefly talked about the two doors here. The one on the right is actually a new location. But we need to get him to, like, eight musical notes before he unlocks it for us. Very close. I like to imagine you whipped out the French toast for a second and he was like, <gasps> oh. <laughs> Be humble. Eat the apple. But French toast is a sin. I don't know. I mean, the last time the Christian ate an apple, it went real poorly. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'll take a few of these. I'm not super attached to them. We've also got beans. Hey! Adzuki beans are used to make some pretty classic Japanese foods. Stuff that would be made with red bean paste. She's at orange. Whoa! Ooh! Ooh la la! Best, for God's sake, what plants do you have on your farm? I keep asking you and you won't say. What's the secret? Beans. Jesus, man, this bean. Beans and yams, dude. Come on. I mean, this season, what plants aren't growing on my farm? Hey, Matsutake rice. I wonder if the guy who didn't use the title ingredient is gonna do poorly. I think in the GBA game, I'm not sure about Back to Nature, but I think in that one, the Matsutake was actually a truffle. And in this one, they just made it more Japanese, I guess. Ah, truffle rice, huh? You know what I kind of miss? And I don't know why, because it was bullshit. The different colors of curry that were in some of the other games, like Tale of mm. Two Towns. That's not in this game. Let me tell you another thing, be bim bap there, that's, that's another perennial Skippy favorite. I, I want to try some bim bap. Mostly because it's, as far as foods go, it's one of the most fun ones to say. A little be bim bap. It's delicious, if you like sort of crispy rice and fresh ingredients in a big old stone bowl, woof, woof. It is very much a good comfort food. Oh, it's fantastic. A nice side of some some crisp, spicy kimchi. Mm. Oh, it's good. There is not a ton of good Korean food in this city. Let me tell you that. Good Korean food is hard to find. It's really nice building up all my ingredients, getting most of the cooking utensils. I still don't have the mixer but I've got enough that I can actually start really cooking some shit. Well, I mean, wait until you get married and somebody will probably get it off your registry. Some asshole will buy a KitchenAid because they want to win your wedding. <laughs> Unreal. <laughs> Fucking win it. Yeah. Give me that for free. I don't care. Yeah, yeah seriously. Screw it. I'll just have the KitchenAid. Thanks. I, I was looking at those. The professional ones, the bowl lift ones. A thousand bucks. Yeah. Unreal. I mean, the basic ones are a couple hundred. Yeah, the basic ones will run you about the same as a miter saw. We know which side Skippy's bread is carved on. Well, you know, it, it was the choice. I was either going to buy a miter saw or a stand mixer, and I figured I'd get more use out of the miter saw. I can whip my own cream, thank you very much. Skippy, this is a family show. Hey. 
Hey, churros. That's another Skippy favorite. I haven't had churros in ages. Dang, there's so much good food here. Oh, churros are great. It's getting pretty close to dinner time, I think. Is what's yeah, going it on. is. <laughs> That's probably part of it. It is about a little after six my time, so yep. Most of the things I cook, I'm going to store in the fridge just because I don't have the backpack space for it. But I'm going to slowly be working my way through, like, I'll give the Harvest Goddess one of them. And then over time, I'll eat the rest, like when I go down to the mines. But the amount of stamina you get back from cooked foods doesn't always correlate to the amount of ingredients and work you put into making it. One of the most useful foods you can make, I don't think I have the recipe yet, but it only uses one ingredient. Is it cocaine? <laughs> That's like four. What do you mean you built a collection? Are you not eating them? Are they just sitting at the bottom of that lake? <laughs> just got them in glass cases. Can I have the dish back? Thanks for the rock. It's shiny. Moonstone, I think, is used for the winter sun. But I think that's it. As far as gemstones, it's not worth a lot. It's also for evolving your Jigglypuff. Uh, yep. As soon as I get one. I believe that's a winter crop. <laughs> oh, hey, baby. <laughs> Dramatic zoom in. How's it going, Marie? What what you doing? Looking out for Draculas? Okay, tonight's moonlit night. So the person that you have the highest heart rating with will show up here. Ah. Great. Let's look out for Draculas together. I was going to give her this grass, but it didn't work out how I went, so this is how the cutscene is going, I guess. She's best arms start trembling, but she's just <laughs> gotten through it. All right, we'll look at the moon. Marie's like, do you want to put that down, maybe? I'm good. I'm good. Looking at the moon. <laughs> I should hope so. I don't know. Bring your parents to make out point. Look, you guys keep fighting. You're pent up. <laughs> Still have it. <laughs> it was kind of creepy how much slower I brought it out than usual. <laughs> it's my special Marie grass. I'll treasure it always. It's been blessed with their presence. I see. Poison mushrooms in the fridge. Sounds good. <laughs> Where else are they going to go? No, oh, you don't want them to spoil. Somebody could get sick. This is why I've been at all tolerating Mana and Duke. Because I want to get their friendship up. This is really the only chance I'll get for this cutscene to happen. It only happens in the first autumn. Duke will come to your house and ask you to help him harvest some grapes at the vineyard. And he throws out the suggestion of, why not ask in the dude at the church? What a weird walk. So Duke, let me, let me get this straight. You've come to my working farm that you see is, is full of crops because you want me to help you harvest. Yes. I mean, it's lucky that he asked me today when most of my crops are ready to go so that tomorrow I won't have to worry about that. Like, does it does it look like I'm hurting? Does it does it look like I need a part time job? I don't. Someone else might, though. Certainly not. 
To hell with the neighbors. Well, I figured since you don't really talk, we can pay you less than minimum wage and no one would ask. Yeah. Seems fine. It's not like you're going to complain. The only thing that you've ever said is Y U M. M Y? Alright, now we can make makers since we've upgraded the barn. An adamantite cheese maker. Whoa. Hi. Well, I didn't come here for the books, baby. I think I was trying to get to the church, like I was doing the rounds on the way to the church. So when this cutscene happened, I was worried that I was going to lose the entire day again. So is this uh, is this a romance cutscene or a friendship cutscene? Romance. We've seen all the friendship cutscenes. Once you're actually in a relationship, they're romance. Why is she so bloody formal then? Because it's Marie. This is so stilted. Loosen up, lady! Anyway, this book sounds badass, but it needs more rampages? <laughs> yeah, like, how many pages are you gonna view describing gore and bloodshed? Right, how many, how many spines, how many spines are in the, in the book? Got to be a lot of spines. Yeah, I'm hoping for like George R. R. Martin describing food levels. Like, I'd like this to be the red wall of spines. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, wall of spines. That's, yes. that's good. You can use that one. That one's free. Yeah, actually, yeah. Go, go for it. Wall of spines. Well, that's sudden, but all right. The, intense. It's very you know. intense. Aww. Because I love you, Red Wall of Spines. Oh, she's writing her book out loud. Oh! Uh, cue the blushing. Mm, there we go. Well, I can tell this is this is true love because uh, Marie is weird and a gigantic pain in the ass, <laughs> but you're still into it. So that's nice. Tell you what, I'm going to make the goddess curse him with like slight extra sensitivity to cold. Then they can stay together. Oh, my teeth. Give him a soy allergy. Okay, Cliff doesn't actually need to be at the church, but just in case. Oh, hang on. Other good thing. Where'd he go? Maybe it's time to snoop. <laughs> I'm gonna sneak into his rectory. <laughs> Maybe it's time to confess. I've been sneaking around the church. Um, just starts chewing on the tree. Someone's got a doob. <laughs> I was waffling between crypto mining and grow op for this bit. Um, can't believe it, my winter weed. I'm guessing it's grow op. It's Matsutake's, I swear. Yep. <laughs> Remember what I said about taking off all your clothes and seeing God? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's how church actually goes here.
Okay, but like, you're you're wearing velvet and expensive dyes and a gold medallion, and you live in a gigantic, luxurious church. So, you know, your vow of poverty doesn't mean much. A church without a bed, or even like a real back room. Oh, he's got a confessional. <laughs> he sleeps in the confessional. You don't know, maybe the confessional is like super comfy in there. It's a Murphy confessional. <laughs> He's got a lazy boy pew in there. So that back area behind the church, that's where the second Matsutake can show up. Uh... But it's not a guarantee. Every day there will be at least two different mushrooms there. Yeah, when, when he was talking about the guy who hangs out at the church all the time, I don't think he meant the priest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but whatever. You can talk to Carter and he'll say, no, talk to Cliff. He's like, uh, I think you got that one wrong, Best. Hey, something from Harvest Moon 64. One of my favorite songs from 64. Oh. Do you oh, want some pretty? Oh. Okay. Cutie? Nope. He's a tough nut to crack. That's why you gotta use the rocks. Uh. Now Cliff, both in Back to Nature and Harvest Moon 64, had a chance to leave if you didn't befriend him. The thing is, in this game, he leaves if you don't go through this entire side story with the vineyard. So by actually hiring for the vineyard, he will actually stay in town. Oh, how about that? This wasn't in the original patch of the game. This got patched in later. But if you wait about a year, he will actually come back to town and be there permanently again. So he's not permanently gone in this patch of the game. But it's nice to help him out anyway. I beg to differ. I bury him under the bench. Uh, I actually love graveyards because I'm weird. <laughs> I actually love graveyards because I'm dead. Oh, no. It's true. Dead guys love mushrooms. That's how you know. Because they grow on them. Marriage 101. <laughs> oh, go on. I'm listening. This happens when you get someone to at least the orange heart and you've seen their heart event before you can actually propose to them. You've still got a ways to go, but you can buy the blue feather ahead of time. Make sure they feel the same way first. No flash mobs. Folks, no flash mobs. Shit's played out. No jumbotrons. Nope. No cameras. Mm -mm. I mean, that's how you heck doing in a restaurant. It's a little played out, but shouldn't be going to restaurants right now anyway. It's not heartburn, it's an ulcer. It's a serious medical problem. Could be both. Yeah, but it's my fault. I don't want to think about it. He's got a hole in his stomach. Oh, you're starting to become a familiar face, says your soon-to-be fiancé. <laughs> <laughs> Unreal. At least she sees the blue feather. She's like, uh, not right now. That's fine. So what you gotta do is just gotta go use it on everyone in town. And avoid the ones who say yes forever. Somebody's gonna marry me. 
<laughs> oh yeah, I almost forgot about this. <laughs> oh, you've got a job. If you miss this, then Cliff will leave the town. He'll hang around, but he will leave at the end of the year. He will not pick grapes without you. We have one thing. Yep. Down a bottle of Merlot. Feeling great. Where's Plum? I got some words for him. <laughs> you should have been named Grape. That's what's wrong with you. It really... I just... You know, it... I don't want to sound like an asshole here, but, <laughs> you know, just of all the purple fruits, why plum? Why plum? It's the inferior choice. We don't even get plums here. You know, you dry a grape, what do you get? A raisin. You dry, dry a, you know, prune or something. I don't know. You're okay, kid. <laughs> All right, and now Cliff works all the time at the vineyard. There we go. Congratulations, Cliff. You get to deal with their horse shit now. <laughs> Enjoy this job you are entirely unqualified for. You're going to get just dragged into all their personal drama. He's pretty much a dog's body. Those don't have qualifications. Just be able to lift a box and not break your back. Tell me about it. <laughs> Don't punch me. <laughs> I'm very angry at you for finding me work. It'd be hard to do the job from out of state. Remote work botany. Yeah, can I just can I just tend the vines over Zoom? It's been an hour. It's raining. <laughs> Cliff had a fast turnaround. Let's wear something else. Still kind of autumn-y. Probably more summer. Probably more laundry day. Holy <laughs> jeez. Oh, is it the ponies? Are we going to be playing the ponies? Second round of ponies. Oh, a little Straboobly friend. First, we're going to be playing the cowies. Yay! Donkey. Donkey the cow. My patrons know what's funny. I, uh, you know what? As long as somebody's laughing. And I'm buying a bunch of the breeding kits because... As we've been over, that's the only way to increase the cap on the heart ratings. Look at Tiny. You little smoothie. So if you do you get the same flavor of cow when you breed one? Yeah. Can you crossbreed to something like a strawberry mocha? Mmm, delicious. Yeah. That's a little beyond the scope of this game. Huh? Nothing happened? What? Yeah, the sheeps and the alpacas need to still have their fur. Is that a fact? They get very cold when they're pregnant, I guess. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right. Sounds good. Sounds good. So Nut will be our first mom. Yep, 
But as it stands, I'm just going to make bank. <laughs> Boy, howdy. Can I make a dollar? Yay, now I can fully upgrade my watering can. Oh, baby. All right. So since we do have the upgraded barn, we could have a second animal pregnant at the same time. If only they were fluffier. <sighs> Not fluffy enough to breed. Ah. The breeding bin. Yes, that's right. Obviously, nobody wants to eat with an expectant mother. They just bum everyone out. You want this food? Nah. No. Hi, Mocha, you little vibey. You little vibey, how you doing? You little bell on your tail, get out of here. I live here. Did you get out of here, you <laughs> little baby? Yemi, what's your stance on cheesecake? Tell us, tell us a thing about cheesecake, my friend. growing poison mushrooms outside. Just some tasty grave mushrooms. Filled with the lingering regrets of the dead. Ooh, the cursed mushroom. A cursed omelet. Never had a heo, but the image does look like something you'd swat at someone. And now that I have the rolling pin, I can finally make churros. Yay. Hell yeah, tempura. Ah! Those madelines, they remind me of something. I don't have any butter. Or a whisk. They want you to make every type of tempura at once. You don't get to choose. It's a tempura platter. Horse time. And all the smell from the horses. I can't talk to you if I'm buying tickets. I have to be this tall to ride the horse. <laughs> Thank God, your grandpa sucks. Mind the shop, grandpa's going to play the ponies. <laughs> I can tell by the excitement on your face. So I did the usual thing. 
did a run through, saw which horses won, and then I went back and I actually bought some medals. I'm risking most of it on Eddie and a little bit on Debbie. Ah, uh, little hedge. If either one wins, then this will cover me for a while. Quite literally betting the farm. <laughs> no, you yellow fucker, get back. Yes. Whoa. Money in the bank. Two thousand more than enough. Good lord. I will get <clears throat> I will get a dress. That'll be a nice gift for Marie. And then I'm just gonna load up on brooches. I'll get a handful of Matsutakes. I do not need more than one stack. The rest of them need to be brooches. Hundred and two brooches. <laughs> Remember, each one of them is worth twenty one hundred sixty gold. <laughs> Just dumping an empty duffel bag on the desk. Load me up, Mayor. <laughs> <laughs> That's disgusting. <laughs> yeah. Two hundred and twenty k. Sure, what the fuck? Why not? Woohoo! Yay, let's do the money dance! You're rich through the power of time travel. Oh, hello. I finally found Marie and her family out in Monday mornings. Where are you? That chestnut was well hidden. <gasps> Fluffy festival. Go on. <laughs> it's a festival with fluffies. It's it's sheepy time. And off they march. Rings or drags? Oh, she's probably into it because she's like, it's great fodder for my novel. I love my novel. I'm a writer, you know. It's at this point I realized, oh yeah, the only cow that can actually make cheese and butter is pregnant, so I can't milk her. I'm not gonna make coffee cheese. You didn't just try to make milkshake cheat. That's you, <laughs> monster. You monster. But I'm tish. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah, there you go. I know the internet loves bad puns because humor is dead. You go dock some fresh milk, you tiny handed freaking nature. I vaguely know who he's referring to, but I can only think of the doctor from Twilight Princess. <laughs> uh, oh, forget me, not Valley. Yeah. Mm. So there you go, just shy of a quarter mil. Seems great. Yeah. <laughs> no. Still needs one more before we can do a full three by three. 
Actually, I think it does three by six. Oh. Chunky. And when you consider that you need, what is it, 10 mil for the the townhouse? Yeah. Unreal. That's, it's a lot. All that food coming in handy. There you go. Just huff down three bowls of bibimbap. That's it's not possible, by the way. <laughs> yeah. It's too hearty. Yeah, that it's good, but it goes down like a bowling ball. <laughs> it's uh it's it's substantial. I mean egg and rice is uh, that'll fill you up. Sticks to the ribs. Bag of flour, i uh, probably a gift for someone. Is it for me? Is it somebody who's quarantined and is getting really heavy into sourdough? Moon dumplings. This is the food I was talking about. It only has one ingredient, dongo flour, which is literally not used for anything else in the game. Not even dongo? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Squish, squish. Both of our contestants, they made the exact same thing. Because technique means nothing! Oh yeah, okay, that's basically Dango, I guess. Kinda weird they gave it a different name. It's like... Dango, but with red bean ganache on it? Like, I don't know what I'm looking at there. Yeah. I think it's because it relates to a moon festival in the game. Ah. But I'm not sure. Uh, moon dumplings, I think they recover 30 stamina each, which is pretty good. And also they count as sweets, which works for a festival, I think in autumn, where you give the kids sweets, so you can just give them moon dumplings. Which if you're like me, you will have plenty of. That's nuts. Oh, it's 40 stamina. Oh. Unreal. That is substantial for something that easy. Damn right we're holding the Fluffy Festival. <gasps> is there? Oh! She'll be fluffy by tomorrow, I promise. Nope. He has to kidnap them today. Damn my lack of fluff. I broke in. Thanks, man. I noticed. I already, I already used it. I already made a cheese. Oh, what? Look at the pattern on the mythic. That's <laughs> what is that? It's absurd. Holy! You charge it up, and one of those firefighting planes just flies over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was just gonna say. <laughs> They accidentally dump a whale on your yard. <laughs> it's better than what I was than what I was thinking in a I, I forget the name of the last Harvest Moon game before they transferred over to Story of Seasons. But in that one, when you fully upgraded your watering can, you just made a storm cloud over your crops. <laughs> I like stuff like that. Yeah, just by the end, it's get ridiculous. It's kind of like the, the post game nonsense weapons and like Peace Walker and stuff. Yeah. Ultimate co-op weapon, mythic watering can. That's right. You fault in a bunch of soldiers. And they wet themselves in terror. Run at a tree with your axe out and it makes a six million dollar man sound. <laughs> Is he? Do you need me to empty his litter box? No, well, I'm out of here. I hate confrontation. And Brandon. So really, I just can't be here. Well, we all hate Brandon. You're not special. Yeah, clean up your shit. Sorry, my, uh, my chicken statue had an accident.
No. Fuck out of town. You are not. You are not. Oh my god. Chomp. Don't enable this idiot man baby. Hey, look, I finished organizing my tools. I call it Jimkin. And just think, if you'd married this guy, this would have been your life. Picking up after this idiot. <laughs> now that I'm gonna need off the floor in my area. Now that I'm gonna start sweating. Who would do that? That's weird. I don't. I don't need off the floor. I eat the floor. <clears throat> like a real man. Yeah. Nice and woody. I don't do it for the fiber. I do it because I like it. <laughs> Sawdust, nature's Parmesan cheese. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, though. Tastes amazing. The pain in my ass. Well, that was obnoxious. And boy, do I need common. Fuck you, Brandon. I was here to do business. Ha <laughs> Look at pork. Well, a new fruit flavored baby. Mmm, mango milk. We got our mango baby. Here you go, mango baby, with your little mango horns and your little mango booty. Does mango go with pork? Uh, eh. Yeah, it can. You know, citrus and pork is a classic combination, right? Ham and pineapple. Do like a mango chutney kind of thing with pork. Kind of a sweet, sweet and salty. <laughs> Zack, I was about to oh, do God. my ultimate attack. We call that attack storage and speed running. <laughs> Screw us, Zack has better comedic timing than any of us. <laughs> yeah, she likes her dress. She'll never wear it. Probably not. We never even see what the dress looked like. Maybe it's just the dress she's already wearing. It's like, yay, I got a spare. What a coincidence. Yeah. Huh? What? Huh? It's his birthday. Oh. Happy birthday, weirdo. I'm gonna rob your backyard. his fault for exposing the secret Matsutake hole. And there we go. I didn't buy any more sheeps or alpacas because I just want to breed those. It's really the best option. When I upgrade the coop, I'm going to be exclusively breeding the chickens and the rabbits from there. Yeah, there's no point. I mean, all you yeah. got to do is just put a rabbit egg in the incubator and you're up for the races. <laughs> yeah. The ball of fluff that you cut off them. Yeah. That's how rabbits breed, right? Yeah. That's how rabbits breed. You don't need to tell me in the comments. It's fine. It's like how they make avocado trees. Yeah. They cut off some of the fluff and then they stick it on another rabbit. There you go. That's exactly it. Yeah, just just kind of buds. You bury a rabbit egg, avocado tree. <laughs> You're going to say you bury a rabbit. Yeah, you bury a rabbit, avocado tree. That's where <laughs> avocados come from. That raises some horrible questions about what avocado pits are made of. Ah, now that's interesting, because if you bury an avocado pit, you get a strawberry cow. I'm learning so much. Hmm, and that's, that's information you can take to the bank. See, next time we're continuing fall, and it's, that part's going to be even longer than this one, because it is an extremely eventful fall. Good. Good. And it's going to get weird. Well. That's actually going to be 
The Last of Us was able to break it down into just three parts, I think. Ten days apart. Yeah, but yeah, it, it gets weird and awkward at one point. You mean weirder and more awkward? I can't wait. Somehow even more. Unreal.